Hello guys, welcome back to Various Corners. I'm Lee here and today I'm going to be showing you guys my valet. <laughs> Times VPR TBR. Did I what did I just say? I don't even know what I just said. So basically I was laughing. Okay, so basically Valet Times is um is Kate from Over by Chapter Kate. It's basically like a, like a February readathon sort of thing for the whole entire month. Um, but I was laughing because like it says Val Lit Times and like I get lit is for literature, but like it's gonna be lit. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop now. I'm just I'm just not gonna do that. Okay, but what's up, guys? So basically, this is gonna be my TBR for the whole entire month because yeah, it's pretty. It's like. I feel like I don't know what I'm saying right now. So in Valentine's, uh, for the thing in general, you have a bingo card. So basically you can do every single challenge or book category thing, like book challenge or things to do. Cause there's a bingo card that has like the red little squares, which is, which is stuff to do like read next to a fire. And there's like the white squares, which are like the reading challenges. So you can do all of them if you want, or you could just do it in like the direction of bingo, like five across, like five on the top, five down, five diagonal, five diagonal, so, you know, like a bingo card. So I will have the bingo card linked down below, but for right now, I did it just the first line across and I don't actually, I wrote it down on um, a flashcard of what I got or what I want to do for my TBR, but I didn't actually have like the actual words. It doesn't really matter. You'll see. You'll see. Okay. So the first thing I have is a steamy scene. I believe on the bingo card, it says like a shower scene. And so basically, it's a steamy scene. <laughs> and you know, we have to put Unravel Me. Unravel Me. I want to reread it and I want to reread it over and over and over and over again. Because I love it so much. <laughs> um, I've already read, I believe in December... Duh. In my 24 hour readathon that I did in December, I might leave that down below. I usually don't like linking things, but whatever. I reread Shatter Me and I loved it, of course. Oh my god, I did not love it as much as I read it the first time. I mean, I loved it, of course. It's one of my favorite books of all time. But I didn't love it as much as I did the first time because, you know, like that's always like the first time reading. <laughs> but I still did love it and I know that I'm still gonna love this one. And I was thinking about it and this book is the one with the most steamy scenes in it. Because, you know, her having sex with uh, Adam was how they found out. No, is that a spoiler? Adam has powers. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that That's how they found out that he had powers. So that's kind of lit. There's just a lot of that romance. And I just, I cannot wait for it. I'm really excited for this one. So the next one across is write a love song about a book. So basically this is one of the red cards which was you have to do something and it was to write a love song. And so I was like, I'm just gonna pick any book and just write a love song about that. And so what book should I write a love song about that I have more love for? And it's Ignite Me, the last book in the trilogy. Ignite Me was the perfect conclusion to this. I literally love it. I love how she, I was about to say one, but that would be a spoiler, but not really. Defeated the demons in her brain. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to, I love how she just defeated everyone and just everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. I don't know what I'm saying. I literally don't, but I'm going to write a love song about this and it's going to be beautiful. I'm just, I'm holding this up and what's really funny is that this is like, the smallest book out of all of them like this middle book is bigger than this one and this is supposed to be the conclusion and i'm just like wow i feel like i'm just ranting in this video am i not supposed to be doing that <laughs> my third book is to have red on the cover so i have two books for this <laughs> for my last technically like readathon that i did like i did do a 24-hour readathon but like a readathon that wasn't like my own personal readathon I had read One of Us by Jeannie Wadby, but I never finished it. I'd got like that much into it and I just never finished it. And I, I just wasn't in the mood for like a thriller. It wasn't bad. It wasn't amazingly good. Just wasn't in a mood for it. 
but I genuinely want to finish it instead of having it on there and I also kind of want my this like little bookmark back so I can use it for other books so this is gonna be get done but I also want to finish you guys are gonna hate me because I had literally all month three of these three books but I didn't Ruin and Rising I'm finishing it right now I'm right there into it I I'm enjoying it I don't know why it's taking me so long I've been sort of low-key not really buddy reading this with Vanessa here on booktube but like I basically just rant to her about it and we both have like stumbled upon like sort of like a slump but not really a slump just like taking forever to read this even though it's really entertaining I don't know why I'm taking forever to read this book I genuinely don't but it's taking me forever so I I just want to read it I just want to finish it and I know I'm going to finish it in February if I don't finish it by this Thursday which is the end of what is it the end of January that's what it is number four is to well my number four is to have a beautiful cover which I put the sun is also a star by Nick oh my god yeah I thought it was just I thought it wasn't by Nicola Yoon for a second <laughs> by Nicola Yoon I have not read this yet and everyone's gonna kill me I know I know everyone's gonna kill me but uh I haven't read it yet and I heard that there's gonna be a movie coming out about it and I like really want to read this before the movie comes out so I don't put it off even more um I got this at Barnes and Nobles and look how it came with sprayed edges and I just love that like I why, why did it looks so pretty um I low-key don't like it with purple like I thought like orange would be nice but like purple looks kind of like low-key weird but like I like it and also I'm pretty sure it died oh my god I'm like I'm too much I can't I can't I can't see look 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 uh, uh. Well, whatever you can see like the bottom is orange i just thought like this would be orange i don't know or maybe pink i thought pink would i don't know maybe i'm just like low-key too annoying i don't know what i'm saying anyways the last and final one that i have on my on the on the what what am i saying on my list of like my five books is to frame and post a pic which i've been actually pretty i'm pretty glad that they have this one because i've been wanting to start a bookstagram for like ever and this is finally like a little thing saying hey emily go create that bookstagram you go girl so basically you're supposed to frame and post a picture like with a frame around it or stuff like that and i thought like the perfect book that i've been putting off forever and that i really really want to read and like would look really good and like a thing would be sky in the deep i've been wanting to read this forever a lot of people liked it a lot of people don't like jesse the reader said that he liked it but he didn't like the fight scenes in it a lot of people are in between a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it i don't know i've been wanting to read this literally forever i believe i bought this at barnes and noble on their 50 percent blowout sale last year um oh i like that this just says breathe fire um i'm low-key might want to deface this and just put like a big fire here but i don't know i'm just me and annoying but that's the one that I want to read. If I get through these, not saying I will, because I've been really, really busy, bu uh, busy recently. If I do finish all of these, I will pick more, like, reading challenges off of the chart and off of the bingo chart and will read some of those. But I genuinely don't know if I'm going to finish all of these. I literally deleted this, but what's up guys i also did the contemporary thon tbr and i deleted it so that's good for me oh my god i almost fell um all i'm doing i'm slipping this into a different video but all i'm reading is the sun is also a star and what else was i in the unlikelies that's all i'm reading that is it from like the blurple thing the sun is also a star the image on the on the side the unlikelies everything has to fit into those two books and that's all i'm gonna say okay that's it bye i'm like i don't know what's wrong with me today i genuinely don't but these are the books that i want to read for valentine's and also just in january in january fudge in february in general uh i hope you guys like this you probably didn't to be honest i am like a twitter sprinter if if you will for uh for valentine's on twitter so go follow valentine's on twitter and also my personal twitter i'll leave it down below so you can just follow me and see all my random tweets because i do post about books but i also ran post like random ass tweets that i don't know about i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed this please subscribe please comment down below anything that you want me to do and please hit that like button and mostly subscribe i don't really care about the like but just subscribe
Thanks. Ugh, why do you guys watch me? I can't. 